New tonight at 11, some DeKalb County parents are demanding accountability when it comes to how a nearly 100-year-old school is going to move forward. So we're talking about Druid Hills High School. It's come under fire for its aging infrastructure, and now the district is trying to decide the next steps for the school with the parents' input. 11 Alive Joe Ripley is live tonight from outside of Druid Hills High School. So, Joe, parents just got an update from the district. So what are they telling you tonight? Well, Ron, parents definitely want change to come here to this historic high school. It's just a matter of what that change will look like, when it will come, and how much it's going to cost. Outside Druid Hills High School, a school steeped in tradition, looking to take the next step. I love that we have a neighborhood school that has good bones that could use a facelift and some love. Inside Druid Hills High School, parents like Betsy Wallace walk the halls, voicing concerns over aging infrastructure. It's really not the time for band-aids. We've tried to band-aid over things. You can tell the school's been kind of patched together. Two years ago, students showed the deterioration from busted pipes to moldy walls. $50 million later, the school district is now looking to bring the school from one century to the next. We want to honor those traditions, uh, but we also have to stay future focused for the next several generations where the children that aren't even alive yet. District COO Eric Hofstetter is hearing all the parents and staff's points of view. The district is now looking to either renovate the school, update and add on to it, or replace the school altogether. The cost could run from $100 million to $200 million. We keep saying we'll go as fast as we can, but as slow as we need to go to where we get enough information to make the best informed decision. Betsy Wallace says momentum is building, and she hopes trust will too. And the schools steeped in tradition can take a step in the right direction. So if we're not investing now, we're kicking the can further and further down the road. This benefits my kids, but I also want it to benefit, you, you know, kids that are coming 20, 30 years from now, too. About 1,400 students attending Druid Hills High School stand in the crosshairs of what's to come here to get the school up to code. Funding, we understand, will likely come from an East Wasp penny sales tax directly benefiting education. The district plans on holding more meetings like this early next year to get that feedback from parents, though the project, any project that would move forward, would likely take at least three years to complete. We're live in DeKalb County. Joe Ripley, 11 Alive News. All right, Joe, thanks for the update. Thank you.